Hi Pisces, let's find out what's happening in your energy today. Spirits, what's happening with Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? One more shuffle. What's happening with Pisces? Hey Pisces, let's see what's going on in your energy today. We have the Seven of Wands. Death, Scorpio energy. Knight of Cups. Page of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Lovers, Gemini Energy, the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. All right, Pisces, let's find out what's going on here. You're starting off here with the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? The Ten of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. And the Empress Taurus energy. It's like you're really fighting for something here, Pisces, and it could have something to do with your home. Yeah, look at this. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There's something here that you're fighting for. And um, it, it could have something to do with your home, a legacy, something that you're building, um, financial gain in the material world and you're going after it in this knight of wands energy so you're going after it with a lot of passion and it's showing up here to be a challenge with the seven of wands there's hands on the ends of all of these wands so you're having to battle a lot of different things but you are on higher ground right now pisces you're going to win. This is the card I always tell you guys. You're even wearing two different shoes here. A determination. A lot of determination. And then we have the death card. Why is death here? Two of swords. Nine of pentacles and the Page of Cups. We have the Devil on the bottom of the deck, Capricorn energy. Yeah, there's a lot of material gain coming into your energy. Something in your material world is getting big. You're going through a rebirth with the Death card here. It's like the, the old Pisces is gone. The new Pisces is coming in now. And um, now nine of pentacles, again, material gain, single, taking care of yourself, taking care of everything around you, building your home, working on your home. And I feel like someone's going to send you an offer here and it may be new love may not be but you're kind of you're showing up here as being blindfolded with your arms across your chest out of your emotions and closed off with this offer that i'm seeing someone coming someone's definitely coming towards you here 
Why is the Knight of Cups here? Not sure who this person is. Okay. This is a... Pisces, you're closed off with the Five of Swords. There's too much focus here on what was lost in the past, on what's missing. The Two of Cups is right behind you here, but you don't see it. You're looking at what is lost in the past. At, but something here is going to happen that is going to shock you because we have a tower. So there's something unexpected. And this thing that you're not expecting is coming in as like great, exciting news with this Ace of Wands. So there's great, exciting news that's coming towards you. Knight of Cups. This is a messenger. This is um, someone emotionally coming towards you. And I'm seeing that again right here with the Page of Wands. There's someone definitely moving towards you, Pisces. Why is the Page of Wands here? We have King of Swords, the Eight of Wands. Swords. Why? We have the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck, Six of Cups. I feel like there's someone from your past that has had a dream about you, and I feel like it's not the person on, that you're thinking of. This is not the person that you're thinking of. It's someone else. It's like you're, you've are you made a decision. You've made up your mind to move into calmer water, Pisces. Move where the grass is greener. And something here is going to move, start moving very, very quickly. I want to find out more, like some, somebody may actually literally be traveling here, but I want to find more out about this King of Swords energy. Why is the King of Swords here? Yeah, who is this? Who is this, Pisces? I told you right up here, the Two of Cups is right behind you, but you're not seeing it because you're focused on these cups that are spilled over here. But there's, the Two of Cups is right here. There's someone coming into your life, and I feel like for some of you, this is a past energy, but it's not the person that you're thinking of. It's someone else. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Four of Cups. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy, and Judgment. Okay. Whatever you're working, whatever you're building, Pisces, because I'm seeing there is a lot of focus here in the material world on what you're building, what, what you're creating. We have 11, 11, you're on the right path on the bottom of the deck again. So you could be seeing those numbers, just like I keep telling you guys, I keep seeing um, that 11, 11 is showing up as numbers to me. Like you're seeing these numbers. This is 
making a judgment call here because you're you're literally going through a rebirth changing things in your life and um working on something new something new it's not the same as what was in the past and it could be something spiritual with the hierophant showing up here and we have the four of cups which i'm going to clarify specifically why is the four of cups here the emperor nine of wands Yeah, okay, so I feel like you could be getting an offer from someone, Pisces, where there's a disinterest in this offer. But there's someone here that feels like they missed an opportunity with you and they're wanting to fight for this connection. And I keep feeling like for a lot of you, this is not the person that you're thinking of. There's an Aries here. Why are the lovers here? be receiving a message it could this message could be coming from a cancer with the chariot on the bottom of the deck but someone's moving towards you i keep seeing it over and over again like someone could literally be traveling here i'm seeing someone is getting a new car there's financial gain here there's something new there's a feeling of completion a feeling of happiness, feeling content. Like there's an, you could be getting a raise at work. There's, there could be a legal matter here going in your favor. I feel like you'll be getting news messages about something where there could be travel involved here for some of you. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor because the next card here is you're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. Male or female, you're, you're showing up here as like some type of financial gain. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Magician, you're making this happen. The Three of Cups. Get ready to celebrate, Pisces. There's going to be a celebration here. Something that you've been holding on to, I'm seeing you walking away from it, and there's new love coming into your life. I feel like it's someone from your past, but not the person on your mind, which is weird. A weird message I'm getting here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Justice. Libra energy. The Four of Pentacles. And the Ace of Swords. You're going to get communication from something where something's very successful here, Pisces. Um... Something that has been held back from you that you that you could have been waiting for um, is all of a sudden showing up here in your energy is very successful with a lot of financial gain with the Queen of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? The Eight of Swords, the High Priestess. <clears throat> okay, so there's a completion. The world is here. Something has come full circle. And 
it's been you fighting an inner battle with yourself about um, a person, place, or thing with the Eight of Swords has been up in your mind. You've been feeling stuck in the mind, trapped in the mind. You've been fighting an inner battle about this. And I'm seeing the High Priestess, which is Hi Pisces energy, walking away from this inner battle that you're fighting within yourself. Because something good is coming into your energy that's going to pull your distraction, pull your mind out of this place. Out of this place. Because there's like an energy here of some sadness that has been sticking around. Why is the Four of Swords here? that Pisces four of swords healing healing out of all of these cards spirit says the four of swords is the four of swords that's what I meant the four of swords healing Pisces healing and celebrating celebrating something that you're manifesting here And this wheel of fortune is turning. The chapter in your life is turning. And in this new chapter that you that you found yourself in, because we don't really have control when the wheel of fortune turns, it's turning, it's time. And you found yourself in this new time, in this new space where things are different around you. And now you're manifesting what you want and you're showing up here as very powerful energy the high priestess and the magician you can create what you want to create it's like you really meditate contemplate and come out of your mind about a situation is is here wow look at this The Queen of Pentacles, I told you, you are the Queen of Pentacles and the Devil is here, Capricorn energy. And um, messages, what is this twist? Is there a twist here? Five of Cups again. Why is this Five of Cups here? You could have a Capricorn traveling towards you. I'm, why is this Five of Cups here? We have a Virgo energy at the bottom of the deck with the Hermit. But I feel like there's someone that you have little to no communication with that you're holding your sword up to that you don't really trust. This person is watching you, Pisces, and feeling a lot of sadness here. Thinking about you. Feeling attached. Like, why can't I stop thinking about Pisces? And this person's watching you, Pisces. And for some of you, this eight of pen, this eight of wands right here. This is this person making a decision to contact you or to send you a message. Because right now, I'm seeing them going back and forth with this idea of sending a message to you. The hierophant. Okay, so let's see what spirit has to say here. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? Someone coming towards Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Release your ex. The time has come to clear your, your energy. 
time to release your ex. Oh, and yes, this is your soulmate. This person is a soulmate. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. This person could be um, struggling with money. They could have an addiction or something. Why is the devil here? King of Swords. This is someone that you've had words with. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Capricorn. Justice. Libra energy. Could be a divorce here. And there's that healing card there. Healing over this connection. Okay, Pisces. So these are the messages that spirits have for you. Um, I feel like there's a, there's a significant person at the end of this reading that's showing up that you've been in your mind about. And this person's thinking about you also, Pisces. But I feel like there's, there's some type of truth and healing and justice coming in for you. All right, Pisces, so these are the messages spirits have for you. I hope they help so that you can see the bigger picture of what's going on. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, all of your support. And I will see you tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.